Ayat 125 continues Suratul uh, Avraf, the heights from the Abdullah Yusuf Ali translation. They said for us, we are but sent back unto our Lord, but thou dost wreak thy vengeance on us, simply because we believe in the signs of our Lord. When they reached us, our Lord, pour out on us patience and constancy, and take our souls unto thee, as who bow to thy will. Must I mean? Send the chiefs of Pharaoh's people, Wilt thou leave Moses and his people to spread mischief in the land, and to abandon thee and thy gods? He said, their male children will slay, we will slay only their females. Will we save alive, and we have over them power irresistible? So other gods don't exist. It's just something that they say, you know, said the chiefs, thy gods, you know. Um, said Moses to his people, pray for help from God and wait in patience and constancy for the earth is God's to give as a heritage to such of his servants as he pleaseth. And the end is best for the righteous. And they said, we have had nothing but trouble, both before and after thou camest to us. He said, it may be that your Lord will destroy your enemy and make you inheritors in the earth, so that he may try you by your deeds. We punish the people of Pharaoh with years of drought and shortness of crops, that they might receive admonition. But when good times came, and they said this is due to us, when gripped by calamity, and they ascribed it to evil omens. Connect with Moses and those with him. Behold, in truth, the omens of evil are theirs in God's sight, but most of them do not understand. They said to Moses, Whatever be the signs thou bringest to work, there with thy sorcery on us, we shall never believe in thee, and we sent plagues on them, wholesale death, locusts, lice, frogs, and blood, signs opening, openly self-explained, but they were steeped in arrogance, a people given to sin. Every time the penalty fell on them, they said, O Moses, on our behalf, call on thy Lord in virtue of his promise to thee. If thou wilt remove the penalty from us, we shall truly believe in thee, and we shall send away the children of Israel with thee. But every time we remove the penalty from them, according to a fixed term which they had to fulfill, behold, they broke their word. So we exacted retribution from them we drowned them in the sea because they rejected our signs and failed to take warning from them and we made a people considered weak and no account inheritors of lands in both east and west lands whereon we sent down our blessings the fair promise of thy Lord was fulfilled for the children of Israel because they had patience and constancy, and we leveled to the ground the great works and fine buildings which Pharaoh and his people erected with such pride. We took the children of Israel with safety across the sea. They came upon the people devoted entirely to some idols, and they had, they said, O Moses, fashion for us a god like unto the gods they have. He said, Surely ye are people without knowledge. As to these folk, the cult they are in is but a fragment of ruin, and vain is the worship which they practice. He said, Shall I seek for you 
a god other than the god when it is god who hath endowed you with gifts above the nations and remember we rescued you from pharaoh's people who afflicted you with the worst of penalties who slew your male children and saved alive your females and that was a momentous trial from your lord we appointed for moses 30 nights and completed the period with 10 more and thus was completed the term of communion with his lord 40 nights and moses had charged his brother aaron before you went up act for me amongst my people do right and follow not the way of those who do mischief when moses came to the place appointed by us and his lord addressed him he said O oh, my lord show thyself to me that i may look upon thee god said by no means canst thou see me direct but look upon the mount if it abide in its place then shalt thou see me when his lord manifested his glory on the mount he made it as dust and moses fell down in a swoon when he recovered his senses he said glory be to thee to thee i turn in repentance and i am the first to believe god said o moses i have chosen thee above humanity by the mission i have given thee and the words i have spoken to thee take then the revelation which i give thee and be of those who give thanks and me ordain laws for him in the tablets in all matters both commanding and explaining all things and said take and hold these with firmness and enjoin thy people to hold fast by the best in the precepts soon shall i show you the homes of the wicked how they lie desolate those who behave arrogantly on the earth in defiance of right then will i turn away from my signs even if they see all the signs they will not believe in them and if they see the way of right conduct they will not adopt it as the way but if they see the way of error and that is the way they will adopt for they have rejected our signs and failed to take warning from them those who reject our signs and the meeting in the hereafter vain are the de their deeds can they expect to be rewarded except as they have wrought the people of moses made in his absence out of their ornaments the image of a calf for worship it seemed too low did they not see that it could neither speak to them nor show them the way they took it for worship and they did wrong when they had repented and saw that they had erred they said if our lord have not mercy upon us and forgive us we shall indeed be of those who perish when moses came back to his people angry and grieved he said evil it is that ye have done in my place in my absence did ye make haste to bring on the judgment of your lord he put down the tablets seized his brother by the hair of his head and dragged him to him aaron said son of my mother the people did indeed reckon me as not and went near to slaying me make not the enemies rejoice over my misfortune nor count thou me amongst the people of sin moses prayed O oh, my Lord, forgive me and my brother, admit us to thy mercy, for thou art the most merciful of those that show mercy. Those who took the calf for worship will indeed be overwhelmed with wrath from their Lord and with shame in this life. And thus do we recompense those who invent thoughts, but those who do wrong, but repent thereafter and truly believe, verily thy Lord is thereafter off forgiving most merciful when the anger of moses was appeased he took up the tablets in the writing thereon was guidance and mercy for such as fear their lord and moses chose seventy of his people for our place of meeting when they were seized with violent quaking he prayed O oh my lord if it had been thy will thou couldst 
have destroyed long before both them and me. Wouldst thou destroy us for the deeds of the foolish ones among us? There is no more than thy trial by it. Thou causest whom thou wilt to stray, and thou leadest whom thou wilt into the right path. Thou art our protector, so forgive us and give us thy mercy, for thou art the best of those who forgive and ordain for us that which is good in this life and in the hereafter, for we have turned on thee. He said, With my punishment I visit whom I will, but my mercy extendeth to all things that mercy. I shall ordain for those who do right and practice regular charity and those who believe in our signs, those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find mentioned in their own scriptures, in the law and the gospel, for he commands them what is just and forbids them what is evil. He allows them as lawful what is good and pure, and prohibits them from what is bad and impure. He releases them from their heavy burdens and from the yokes that are upon them, so it is those who believe in him, honor him, help him, and follow the light which is sent down with him. It is they who will prosper. Say, O men, I am sent unto you all as the messenger of God, to whom belongeth the dominion of the heavens and the earth. There is no God but he, it is he that giveth both life and death. So believe in God and his messenger, the unlettered prophet, who believeth in God and his words follow him, that so he may be guided of the people of Moses. There is a section who guide and do justice in the light of truth. We divided them into twelve tribes, our nations. We directed Moses by inspiration when his thirsty people asked him for water. Strike the rock with thy staff. Out of it there gushed forth twelve springs. Each group knew its own place for water. We gave them the shade of clouds and sent down to them manna and quails, saying, Eat of the good things we have provided for you. But they rebelled. To us they did no harm, but they harmed their own souls. And remember it was said to them, Dwell in this town and eat therein as ye wish. Say the word of humility and enter the gate. In the posture of humility, we shall forgive you your faults. We shall increase the portion of those who do good. But the transgressors among them changed the word from that which had been given them. So we sent on them a plague from heaven for that they repeatedly transgressed. Ask them concerning the town standing close by the sea. Behold, they transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath. For on the day of their Sabbath, their fish did come to them openly, holding up their heads. But on the day they had no Sabbath, they came not. And thus did we make a trial of them, for they were given to transgression. And one of the things, uh, Sabbath meaning sunset on Friday to sunset on Saturday. And... There's absolutely nothing in the Bible that says that it switches to Sunday or something like that. When some of them said, why do ye preach to a people whom God will destroy or visit with a terrible punishment? Send the preachers to discharge our duty to your Lord, and perchance they may fear him when they disregarded the warnings that had been given them. We rescued those who evade evil, but we visited the wrongdoers with a grievous punishment because they were given to transgression.